What's going on guys? Johnny with Blazing Grass Long Care. Welcome to another video. And in this video I will be talking about how can you make a real bumpy lawn or a lawn that's full of holes look crispy when you mow it. But before I do that, let me put on my eye protection and chug this water. And as you can tell guys, it is hot today. I think it's like 81 right now. Sun is beaming. So I had to put my windshield shade and my music. Even though I use battery powered equipment here and there, I can't do anything without my music, guys. So just for video purposes, let me lock this. I'm going to be mowing this yard right here. Just the front to show you guys. I will be doing the back, but I won't film the back. Now some of you guys may say, Ben Johnny, that yard doesn't need mowing. Believe me guys, that's because you are conditioned by your customers to mow certain types of yards. But uh, what I do is I condition my customers to get used to having the best looking yard at all times. Right now I'm mowing on a weekly basis all my properties, well most of them, I would say probably about 60 to 65 percent of my properties are being mowed on a weekly basis. And yes, I'm parked on the wrong side of the road, but guess what? No one cares. Unlike other locations where you guys leave your comments and you go, man, if that was in my area. I will get a ticket. That's why I don't live in your area. <laughs> Listen, you gotta have a sense of humor. Let me put my gloves on so I can keep my hands nice and soft for my beautiful wife. And I'm going to be using the Toro Flex. Um, this is the Flex Force power head with the uh, stick edger, which is a straight shaft attachment. And again, when should you edge your lawn? Before or after the mow? It really doesn't matter, not to me anyway. The only time that it matters to me is when the ground is wet because then if you mow first I mean if you edge first then what you're gonna be doing is driving on top of the uh, little mud that the edger kicks out and you're gonna stain the walkway and driveway but right now nah no biggie it's gonna be all right so I edge all my properties on every single service visit. Why? Because that's what your customers are paying for. That's what my customers pay for. That's what they expect. There's no way, I'm telling you guys, there's no way that I could honestly mow this yard. And even though it looks like it doesn't need edging, in my mind, it needs to be edge. I've tried it before, I've tried it many times, and believe me, I look at the end result, and I go, nah, nah, I can't leave it like this. Because I treat all my properties as if they were mine. And it's the truth, guys. You've been watching my videos, I'm not flim flamming you. All my properties are taken care of as if they were mine. And that's what I enjoy about them. 
if I get to the point where I'm getting ready to go to a property and I don't feel, you know, I don't feel that that ownership, I usually give them up. But again, I'm 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 like that guy, so everyone can say the same. So right now I'm gonna mold this property with the Toro Z Master 4000. And I've had this mower for the past, I wanna say two going on three years. And I love it. It's fast, reliable, never been to the shop since I've had it. No issues, start some time, super reliable. And I'm using the Ballard Gold Blades on this mower. So this will give you a kind of a look at what they do. Again, in my mind, a blade is a blade, right? A sharp blade will cut. But what I'm looking for on these blades is how long can I go without sharpening the blades? That is what I'm gonna gauge these blades on. Now, this is a very, very, very bumpy lawn, guys. It may not look like it, but this lawn is super, super bumpy. And the way I maintain it and make it look this neat and crispy is by bringing up the deck. Right now, I'm mowing this at 3.25 inches. And this is centipede grass. And you know, I usually mow all my centipede at two inches. But I am fortunate that the homeowner um, fertilizes and water this property so therefore I can give her the best end product so if you have a super bumpy lawn or you have a lawn that has a lot of protruding roots hit them up pretty high you know as high as you can without making it look kind of crazy and then you know explain to the customer why you did it okay just explain to them real quick hey this is why I did such and such and look at what your lawn looks like and you know the customer will be happy with what you're doing okay so let me grab a battery and let us trim And my trimmer is the New Toro Professional Revolution handheld trimmer. And the additional stick that you see attached to the shaft is called the Darwin Grip. And that's it. that enables you to stand up straight minimizing the fatigue on your on your back so on this property right here we don't have a lot of trimming just minor little stuff so I wanted to kind of give you a POV look and as you can tell guys I'm feathering the trigger no need to have this at full blast cleaning out the cracks in the driveway, giving the trimmer enough power to get the job accomplished. Again, we're not going at full throttle, tearing up stuff, right? There's no need. I think this is why my batteries last so long, because I only utilize the power that I feel that is needed to get the job accomplished. And now right here in the corner, we had a whole bunch of Mexican petunias. 
that I had to get rid of. And those are very invasive in my area. Believe me, they will come right back up. And you see, this is what they do in my area, guys. This is so strange. This is a fire hydrant. This is not even a corner lot, but a fire hydrant is right in between the two properties. And this is your water meter. The water meter is right in the middle of the yard. <laughs> so yeah, crazy, right? But hey, when in Rome. All right. So now that we have everything finished, we are going to blow. And I've been using the Toro Revolution backpack blower for a while now. And I haven't had, well, I haven't taken the time to actually see how many properties I can get with this. Because what I usually do is use it per day and, and it'll, it'll do comfortably um, up to 15 properties a day for me, okay? Um, without me having to change batteries or whatever the case might be. And at the end of the day, I just put it on the uh, multi-charger, plug it in, and let it be. So it works for me. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard for me to tell you how long this is going to last for you because as you can tell sometimes I have a little bit of debris sometimes I have a lot of debris so um, yeah I'm using a turbo right there and most of the times you know when I get lazy right because you know right now walking up and down up and down sometimes we want to stand in one spot especially after you do 10 12 lawns you don't want to be doing that additional walking <laughs> so I stand in one part one spot and, and try to blow every dog on thing yeah I get lazy sometimes guys because that sun man when that sun starts to beat on your butt I'm telling you it's crazy See that Georgia Bulldog? Yeah. But yeah. As you can tell guys, it works pretty good. And don't put in the comment that this uh, driveway and sidewalk needs to be power washed. Believe me, the customer knows and I know. <laughs> But yeah, that is it. Let me put my stuff up. And guys, thank you for spending this time with me. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Like, share, follow, subscribe. And see you on the next one.
I'm actually striping. <laughs> <laughs>